Right then, here we have our centre Bruti and there'll be the trig point up there. Over there you've got some, um, going over to Bristol Channel, all over that way. The hill fort, Iron Age hill fort and all that will be down there. We've got the aerials up here. Um, I've just changed batteries, had a drink of water. I'm going to have a bit of cake in a minute. I'm keeping me cheese and tomato for a bit later. Probably going back across uh, the sheep field again because it does give me indigestion. Now I've put my hat on because it's hotter than we think. Um, so and I'm going to be exposed a lot now so I've put my hat on now. Um, jumper off. Just got my breath back a bit. No hills for quite a while now. Uh, the only hill really will be the wobbly path going up to Long Sheepfield if I do that route. And going downhill to Cheddar. Uh, there is a possibility I might change the route back and I might go up one side of the gorge and then down through some fields and come out so I wouldn't be going through Cheddar I'd come out nearer the uh, bus stop I'm seeing how the time goes for that and how I feel because that will be a climb uphill a bigger climb than if I go up towards Longfield. A farmer's busy. Same farmer I seen a minute ago. Well, there's all the views, everyone. That's all the views. Beautiful Somerset. We've got beautiful land. Yes, we have. And I know just cows have been along here. I've seen cow dung. Now, what, what I was thinking was... um fresh cow pack. This would have been an old drove in the past. It would have been wider. It's only narrowed in time when perhaps the farmers haven't used it. But now it's the first time I've ever seen cow pack here and cow marks. And I think to myself it's quite wide. This is easily a drove and it could be used again for, people, for the farmers using their to transport their cattle from a different field. Anyway, there's the aerials that I talk about. They're reference points that are mentioned many, many times on my walks. I don't know if they do 5G. I, w I expect they do. There's some gorgeous views, which I'll probably stop at, uh, by the aerials. There's a field close by and there's some beautiful views all the way over there. But there is a bit of a haze today. Um, but I'm definitely going to do Velvet Bottom now. I'm, there's no turning back now. Um, if I had been a bit quicker, I could have done the little nature reserve they got there. But I'm always too slow to tell the truth lately. So, you know, when you've got your vehicle, you can, you've got, two or three more hours that you can mess about, do other start things. And uh, I've tried not to mention buses much today, but uh, they do define your walk. Got all these pretty things, huh? Fluffy things. Yeah, because if I had, if I didn't have to think about a bus, I would probably do that nature trail today. It's not very long, it's only probably about half an hour, but the thing is, you, you, you really might not have half an hour. You know what I mean? Because you're getting tired. Or you've still got hills to climb. <sighs> yes, you get some beautiful flowers here. You've got the daisies. Um, I have got a meadow book. Wildflowers of the countryside. I can never remember what all these are called though. They're very pretty, aren't they? They've been giving us beauty all year. Yeah, that wind is very, very welcoming, indeed. 
I'm not moaning about the wind now. No, I'm not moaning about the wind. This is like harvest time for farmers, see? Cutting the grass. It's real harvest time, this is. They'll be doing all that back there soon, I expect. Oh, I know, it's been done. There's the aerial mass. Men do pair, they control my telly. These masts. I'm tuned into these at home in Western Supermare. The Mendip masts. Over and out. Right, here we go. Here are the aerials. I've taken quite a few pictures of them. Here's them. I don't know if this is water. I don't know who this belongs to. It could be water. And this is beautiful scene. Area of Outstanding Beauty, Bristol Channel, Bristol Airport over there. I just zoom in again. I just took some photos of EasyJet. Bristol Airport, look. I wonder if they have any of the um, Afghani people being delivered to Bristol. I wonder if they got to go. A nice blue plane. If they got to go anywhere else. Wonder. An airplane now. I can, I can see, with the naked eye, I can see the suspension bridges. That's a motorbike. Right, folks. I'm going to carry on walking. It's a lovely, it's turned out a lovely afternoon. The breeze is welcome. It is quite a nippy breeze, mind, even so. It's, uh, it is quite a cold breeze. Reservoir washed down hydrant. Yeah, it must be some water table there. We're now going to be saying hello to these cows. Some have got horns. They look like they've been penned in, poor things. Maybe they came up that track earlier. I do feel sorry for animals, you know. I mean, look at this lot here, been stuck in that pen. Are you stuck in the pen? Do you reckon you'll be loud out? Hmm? Maybe it's because of all the walkers. You're not loud out yet. Look, they've got no grass or anything. I don't think they've even got any water in there. I feel sorry, I do feel sorry for animals, you know. There's no grass or anything there. Why have they been stuck in there? I don't think they've been in there long. I think the fresh cow pack. Maybe while he's cutting the grass. Um, they look thin. They look very thin actually. And see their pelvic bones sticking through. They look sad cows. Over now, I'll take some pictures Just of a you. little bit of a video as I leave the aerials. Send out their signals. Hope the cows get released very soon, being trapped in the pen in a hot day with no water or food. Looks awful. And they look very thin. A lot of farmers are grumpy, you know. That, this particular lot, I think, are grumpy. Um, I don't know if they are, but the woman in the Jeep did wave but 
I don't know, I think they have a hard time. I don't know what support they get from us anymore because if we've got lost, um, come out of, Bre uh, out of Europe, it could be that they've had all their subsidies cut. It's a lovely scene though, isn't it? At least I'm walking down the hill now, folks, and I'll be going round. Going round the circle. I've done the big loop already. But this is the easier part. I've done the hard bit. Apart from the very end. When there might be... There will be a hill of some sort at the end. But this is Sheila, the 24th of August 2021. On a lovely summer's day, we've got to make the most of it. We've had some terrible weather this summer. Really have. We've had some awful weather. I've, I've been quite lucky fitting in the walks around the good days. Um, but you don't, you don't always get it right. And I've had to sometimes shortcut a walk if I thought the weather, the conditions are not going to be good. Yeah, I remember coming halfway up this hill the last time I was there. I had, to run, I had to go all the way back because I left my hat on the gate down the bottom. And I thought, oh no. And I walked all the way back and all the way up again. <laughs> I just, look at those sheep, they've all been shorn. They look really naked this lot, don't they? Yeah, you've been fattened up, ready for the Christmas? Bet you are, poor things. I feel sorry for animals full stop. I do, I really feel sorry. I really do. Their little faces. I miss some of the lambs. I, wor I worry about the lambs up at Sam Bay. So friendly the lambs there, you know. They come up to you and everything. They're so sweet. <sighs> really. Okay, I'm going to turn off, folks. You know why I got to take photos. So here we go. Another view of the aerials. I doubt if I'll come up here again now to next year. It's very unlikely I'll be up here again this year now. I've got other areas to cover and then I've got specific walks I do in the winter which are determined by time and um, conditions like it gets dark earlier or you know it's too cold to be out too long or you know I've got lots of places I do in the winter when the cows aren't out. I'd love to do them in the summer but I just won't risk it won't risk it. Over and out everyone.